Daniel Ellsberg died a year ago in June, June 16th, 2023. And this book brought me so close to the drama of the Pentagon Papers. This story, it's really Daniel's story. He grew up in Michigan. Uh, he's a really gifted kid, super nerdy, super smart, ends up going to Harvard. And then all, it just shocked everybody by declaring he was going to enlist in the Marines, you know, and, and it's like this skinny kid is totally unathletic. How's he going to make it through even basic training? And he he did. Very determined guy, too. Every Very intense. Everything he did was very all out. So but he was mostly an academic. He got a Ph.D. at Harvard, went to work at the Pentagon. And like you say, he was he was at the Pentagon. This this you just stuff you just couldn't make up. His first day working at the Pentagon was the day of the Gulf of Tonkin yeah. incident. And so when those yeah when those reports came in at first it really seemed like this was an attack on 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 the U.S. military, and that later came into question. But Ellsberg yeah he would totally full support very hardcore Cold Warrior at that time yeah. And and that is really important to his story because this is a story of his very wrenching evolution. It's just the kind of thing that a novelist would make up when they were kind of following a classic hero's journey.